Hey there, so today we're going to identify some common types of firewood. So one of the, the tough things about identifying firewood is that most people learn to identify trees based on the leaf, right? And of course with firewood, you can see from this pile here, a lot of times you don't have any, any leaves to go by. So what we're gonna be mainly dealing with is the end grain of the wood and also uh, the bark of the wood. Sometimes you'll have that, sometimes you won't, but that's what we're gonna use to identify these different types of wood. And so uh, these are about 12 different types of wood that I went around and collected as many as I could here. So uh, this is somewhat representative of uh, the Midwest USA. I'm here in Indiana. And so I'm just gonna walk you through some of the easiest ways to identify these types of wood so that you can go out in the woods and, and find it and uh, you know, impress your friends, impress your family with your new tree knowledge. So we're gonna get started over here. And uh, this is a really well-known type of wood. This is pine. And the easiest way to tell a piece of pine is it's just so sappy. Just picking up a piece of pine, you can often tell that it's pine just because it sticks to your hands. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's, that's really the easiest way uh, to tell pine. You can also tell with pine, it has a lot of branch, branch points coming off and uh, a lot of knots on it oftentimes, but the easiest way to tell is just that it has so much sap and some of it's even sticking to me now. Uh, so next up we have uh, another wood that I think uh, until I learned this, I couldn't really identify it very well, but I learned a trick for identifying oak, okay? And it's actually a really pretty straightforward trick that I think uh, will really help you out. So on a piece of wood on the end grain, you're probably already familiar with the idea of annual rings. So annual rings, if you look at a tree stump, are the things that you count to identify how old that tree is. And so also on oak, you can see what are called rays. And rays are, are thin lines that go from the center of the wood out and they run perpendicular to the annual ring, uh, uh, the annual rings. So it kind of looks like flecks of sunshine, like continuous rays of sunshine going from the center of the wood out. And uh, with oak, oak is one of the few woods that you can actually visibly see that with the naked eye. So most types of wood, you're gonna need a, a hand, uh, a hand uh, glass or a magnification uh, device of some kind. So, and I actually have two different types of oak here. I have a, a black oak, and then in this hand here, I have white oak. But with both of them, you can see this, these continuous rays that are uh, fairly large and uh, pretty widely spaced out on the end grain. So that's an easy way to find out uh, what oak firewood looks like. And then the next one is kind of related. So this is, this is sycamore, what I have here. And sycamore is the only other type of wood that I know of at least where you can also see the rays with the naked eye, but the rays are, look very different. So it's, you won't get it confused with oak. And so the, the rays on sycamore are different because they're much tighter together. They almost look like, like tiny, tiny little pencil marks. They're, they're really small, but they're very consistent, small and consistently spaced throughout the wood. Again, going from the center all the way out to the outside. But if that doesn't really work for you for identifying sycamore, there's another really easy way figure it out and that is just by looking at the bark so sycamore has really distinctive bark and uh, basically what it looks like is it has these big pieces of, of flaky bark that come off really easily and it's white and green underneath and if you look at a, a sycamore tree often at the bottom of the tree it's gonna have more bark and then if you look up at the top of the tree you're gonna see sort of it looks a little bit naked <laughs> looks a little naked at the top and at the ends of the branches so that's a pretty easy way to identify sycamore uh, the next one here we can again identify this with the end grain, but this time we're looking at the rings. So looking at the, the annual rings of the wood, elm is the only type, this is elm, it's the only type of wood where the annual rings are wavy. So if you're in the woods, you're, you're looking at, at firewood, you find a piece of wood where the rank rings wave, almost like if you, if you drop a pebble in a pool of water, it starts to kind of ripple out to the outside. That's a little bit what it looks like on a piece of elm. You can see those rings waving as they go. No other type of wood gets that. On other types of wood, it's much, uh, a much cleaner and more consistent circle. Uh, next up, what we have here, this is actually kind of just a scrap, uh, but I found it as I was going along. And uh, this is a piece of cherry. And cherry, you can identify purely by the color. Uh, it's a really consistent red throughout. Um, and uh, yeah, you find a piece of wood where all the way through the wood, it's consistently uh, kind of a, a darkish red color, then you probably have a piece of cherry. And cherry, by the way, is, is excellent campfire camp uh, campfire firewood because it smells incredibly good. 
Uh, so that's cherry. And then the next one here also has red color. And uh, this is mulberry. And the way you distinguish it, there's a few ways, but the way I like to distinguish this from cherry because it's kind of the easiest is that it has red wood, uh, dark red wood right in the center. And this is called the heartwood. If you see a piece of wood that has kind of two different colors, the middle is the heartwood and the outer ring is the sapwood. And so in mulberry, this inner heartwood ring is, is dark red and the outer sapwood ring is like a lighter whitish color. That's how you know you got a piece of mulberry. <clears throat> Next one we have here, this is a, a well-known popular, popular tree, popular firewood. Uh, this is, is maple. And we actually have two different kinds of maple here. Uh, here I have sugar maple, uh, which is known as a, a hard maple. And over here I have silver maple, which is known as a soft maple. And so maple in general, how you can kind of distinguish it from some different kinds of wood, is that they have this really consistent, almost skin-like bark. So if you compare it to uh, get some, some elm, for example, you can see it's kind of, kind of flaky, uh, kind of in, in chunks or in rows. Uh, but with maple, it almost kind of contours to the angles of the branches. And so that's one really good way to identify, identify maple if it does that. And uh, another thing that you can look at for comparing these two, so once you know, hey, I've got maple, how do you tell if it's uh, a hard maple or a soft maple? And uh, in this case, what we can see is that silver maple is, is a little bit wider, the wood itself, a little bit wider, and then the sugar maple is a little bit darker, sort of a darker reddish amber color. Uh, but an even bigger differentiator is for sugar maple, for the amount of wood you have, it's much heavier than silver maple because it's just a denser wood. All right, next up uh, is one of the, the best firewoods you can possibly burn for heat output. And uh, we've got two different kinds of hickory here. So the first one, I, I personally think, is one of the easiest types of firewood to identify by itself. So, and, and this is called shag bark hickory. So you can kind of see from the wood, it's, it's shaggy and it's kind of flaking off. Um, it's kind of in these long, uh, narrow to wide plates. Um, so that's really, if you see a wood that has this bark, it's, it's a shag bark hickory. That's, that's the easiest way to tell. And then you can tell also some similarities with this type of wood, which is a, a pig nut hickory, that uh, it doesn't flake quite as much as the shag bark. It's not really hanging off like the shag bark is, uh, but it's still kind of plated. It has these long, narrow uh, layers or, or plates of bark. Um, and so personally, I think that it's, it's somewhat difficult to distinguish, if you're just going by the ingrain and not by the bark, somewhat difficult to distinguish hickory wood from ash wood. Uh, but some of the ways you can distinguish between the two is hickory has that color difference just like we mentioned earlier, where the inner heartwood has a darker, uh, darker brown, almost reddish color, and then the outer wood, of the sap wood, is sort of this white, this, this lighter white color. But with ash, ash is, is usually gonna be a consistent light white color throughout. Um, the color typically very consistent for ash. And also if you compare the bark, if you have the bark for both of them, you can also compare and see where with ash, it kinda has these, these wide ridges that run down the bark. With hickory, it has those plates we talked about, kind of that plated, uh, layered wood. Uh, so there you have it. Those are about 12 different types of firewood. Uh, so now new, go use your newfound knowledge and uh, impress people with uh, your firewood identification skills. All right, that's all.